Good day to Madam Roslin. Hi, I'm Shahri Najmi. I'm from Group Two. And first of all, let me introduce to the other groups, which is Muhammad Najmuddin, Amira Nur Husnina, Muhammad Najmi Aiman, and Alina Shahira. And I am once again Shahri Najmi as the appointed leader of the group. So let us begin with our coding. Here, as you can see here, we created the vending machine uh, system. We have our struct here, which houses the drink name, drink cost, drink quantity, and drink code. And here we have declared some void function. And here are our files. Which are, uh, we put in the drink name, drink price, drink quantity, drink code, which is here. The drink code uh, for the drinks, the drink name, the drink prices, and the drink quantity. Okay. And we also declare our uh, array, which is drink. With a size of 14 for 14 drinks. Here we declare for the file to input into the array. Yes, you can see here uh, the drink name will, will go into the array, drink cost, drink quantity, and drink code. And we executed the function first. Uh, as you can see, this is this function. Okay. Um, first, we will tell you the option: Are you a vendor or a customer? Uh, if your option is zero, which is the vendor, uh, the vendor have to uh, input the password, which we set to one two three four, or else it will output wrong password. If you are the customer, it will go here and ask would you like to uh, buy a drink with the choices. If yes, go to customer uh, function. If not, then we will exit. In the customer function, uh, it will tell us uh, to enter a code here, which is read in the uh, array which is read from the file and here is the loop for it to recognize which code is correct if the code is correct then it will proceed to the purchase function this is the purchase function and will uh, carry uh, will pass the value by reference in the main and also here okay it will loop uh, it will make a do loop so you have to enter money how much money and it will read if the money in the array is if is more than 3 or it is less than 1.5 or else it will see out invalid amount and it will calculate the money balance and, uh, and update the array which is in the drink quantity like here it's minus by one each time you buy a drink it will minus by one the quantity of the drink in the file as for the vendor this is the vendor function it will see out enter the drink to be restocked. Okay, then you input the amount of drink you want to restock, and it will update the file. Ray. Okay. Uh, okay. Then let me show you the output. Okay, this is the output. So first, let's enter as a customer one. You'd like to buy the drink? Yes. 
okay uh, which string for example i want a uh, root here so 102 baking in the code okay we ask to enter the money let's say i want to enter five ringgit look it's uh say invalid money how about uh 50 cents we also say invalid money so i type in just for example three ringgit your money balance is 1.5 would you like to continue yes first and let's see um cola 101 okay two ringgit okay we type in no okay then uh, it will show up the output file here so 1.5 we get from the the root beer and the cola where we get a total of three ringgit and cola before we have 10 now we have nine and the root beer before we have seven and now we have six okay then let me show you the vendor side okay I'm going to it zero and the vendor password I type in the wrong password it will uh, see out wrong password so you have to type one two three four is the password and it will show the drinks that you want to uh, restart so let's pick root beer so you have to type in the code of the root beer 102 and how much you want to restart so let's say we make it 10 so we have to restart it 4 and there the ruby has been restarted to full and if we look at the quantity here look uh, there we have restarted the root beer okay uh i think that's it uh thank you for your time madam and i will end our presentation here thank you very much